we are now bodywork time and the next stages are really all about uh, making the Subaru Brat look nice and look pleasant to look at. Um, so where I'm at, I have decided that I'm going to start the uh, Lexan body first, the polycarbonate body first. Um, what I've actually done is I've um, cut the body already in place. So I've now cut the front of the body all down the sides and the back. We'll cut it all out. Um, cut that using a selection of tools, our um, curved Tamiya body scissors and a pair of nice sharp straight cut scissors um, and next we have some sanding down to do so got a selection of sandpapers here I've um, just stuck this on a piece of timber just for a bit of um, for a bit of support um, this is going to be used for the uh, straight edges so we can get those nice and straight um, this is a bit of uh, 400 uh, wet and dry um, I've got a bit of 1500 wet and dry and uh, a little bit of um, P180 uh, just to just to get the, the initial burrs and things off so in case of um, gentle with one and get the body nice and sanded and get all the edges nice and sanded um, and it's just a case of literally taking the time and working on those flat areas and we literally are and you're literally looking to run your finger on there and look to see if it's straight it's a case of running around and I shall do this with the 400 and um, and then go over it with the 1500 just to make sure it's nice and uh, not, no sharp edges and no burrs and nice and smooth um, so yeah I'm not going to bore you with that bit it's the rubbing down it takes time and and then it's a case of we then have to wash the body and paint the body uh, I've also um, Tammy have kindly um, marked the holes for the body post so again I've already in prep I've already marked those up ready for me uh, so I know where they are so yeah case of rubbing down rubbing down and rubbing down there we are so that's going to be the polycarbonate body and I'll still come back to you uh, step by step update on the polycarbonate body spray painting um, where we're at uh, so far um, after many hours of masking um, I've had to mask um, a lot of the areas such as where the black will go for the bumper strips that go down the side uh, I've had to mask a lot of areas for the rear uh, bumpers, the black bits and so forth. Um, also I've had to mark areas, so I had to mark off the black uh, so I can do the silver bit first. So I sprayed the silver bits on the front and the rear. So there you go, the first the front and the rear. And then I've had to take off and do the bumper, the bumper corners for the fronts and the bumper corner cappings for the rear and the black strips for the side so it's um probably took a good um five five hours or so five six hours or so just to get to this stage where i was able to do the masking off and do the silver for the front and rear bumpers and the black parts um, for the bumper strips and the bumper corners um, so look so far so good um, happy so far with the way the process has been um, I now have to once this is cured I have to take off the uh, 
masking and make sure everything is all okay. Make sure the lines are nice and crisp. Um, make sure there's no bleed through because with the Subaru Brat, um, you do not get window masks here for the windows. So um, it's gonna be a case to let things cure. Um, then uh, another clean, make sure the body's nice and clean inside again, probably have to do another wash and then um, mask up windows and anything else that I do not want paint in the body colour. Here we are um, with all of the masking uh, tape removed from the stage one of the spraying and all stage one has been about is literally putting the black into the bumpers etc so stage one is complete there was a little bit of bleed through here and there um, but nothing that my nice sharp uh, hobby knife couldn't deal with um, so we are I've given the body another clean and another wash through um, just to make sure there's no grease residue from my fingers etc um, and we're now ready to mask up the windows and everything else that doesn't need to be painted um may need to um yeah just mask up a little bit uh i think i'm going to leave these i'm going to pop these and pop the um decals on here so it's going to be my runner body so um yeah i think we're we're there just a bit of masking up now for the windows and we're then on to the main body color paint um but the yeah as you can see that uh, has been probably around about 10 hours of work so far just to get to this stage here so masking up and things like that takes a heck of a lot of time so yeah, you have to excuse me making the chassis is very very quick but uh, spraying the bodies is a lot more lengthy process but uh, yeah here we are uh, next stage main body color we're carrying on with the polycarbonate body spray um i'm on about day three now um so after doing the initial silver bumper and black fenders um and the black rubber strips um and rear and the rear bumper and rear silver for the um, bumpers um i did the re um, masking so we had to remask it all the windows um, again you don't get the masks with the kit so I had to sort of make my own um, so and then once that's been done I've done the initial coat of red um, this has been three coats of red so far um, looks a bit dull because the protective film is on um, so we are now in a position where we've painted the the red as you can see here and there we are so it's all nice and red all the way through now we need to back this with black so um, hopefully by the end of today the backed uh, shell will now be backed with black and that should make this a bit deeper red for me uh, and then it's a case of revealing and taking off the masking and um, doing the decals um, and then we've got a polycarbonate body finished and as you know this is a two body vehicle so I've got the resin body to do um, as well um, but at least we get a body finish so we can take the the car for a run which is the best bit um, so yeah that's where we are that's it for now come back to you soon Oh dear, I think we uh, have got a strike action on our hands here. Um, I'm afraid it looks like my workstation has been hijacked and uh, we shall, we shall, we shall not be moved until you feed me. Mm, Mr. Gears, we might have to have words with the union about this. Mm. We've painted the body, we've backed it all in black and peeled off the cellophane and here we are, finished result and 
all together I'm reasonably happy um, it's got a couple little bleed throughs that I've had to sort of disguise but other than that it's come up really well I am backing the red in black has made it a nice deep red which is the red that I was looking for so quite happy with that and I've took off my own masks and to be fair my own masks that I made um, haven't done too bad uh, have held up quite well to the spray um, quite happy with that indeed and just show you the rear there we go so yeah it's decal time and then on to the car so quite happy with that nice it's turned out a nice deep red so backing the black makes the red quite a deep in colour so you could have backed it in white or silver and it would have been more more brighter red but I quite like this deeper red that's quite nice so there we are that's the finished polycarbonate spray now for the decals here we are we are now at the stage where I've completed the polycarbonate body and as you can see with the decals all applied for this particular body and uh, I think you'll agree the red has come out nice and the decals have come out good and uh, happy with happy with the way the decals have come out I've managed to get those to um, go around the curves of of the car and I've painted um, the polycarbonate silver and polycarbonate black um, before doing the polycarbonate red and then to deepen the red I I backed the red with the polycarbonate black and I think you'll agree that uh, it looks quite nice I'm very happy how it's turned out and um, that's the polycarbonate body on there again the, I've done the silver on here first and then the back for the bumpers and uh, all together quite straightforward so quite happy with that let's put it on the chassis see what it looks like on the chassis and uh, I think you'll agree on the chassis looks even better so quite happy with that and again I've done the wheels in silver so it brings out the silver of the wheels I quite like that Here we are I think you'll agree that looks quite nice I'm very happy with how that's turned out Okay. I think that looks very 1980s Subaru brat like. <laughs> yeah. So that's the polycarbonate. Just got to put some um, underneath here. I'm going to put some foam because it's just a little bit loose, uh, a little bit of rising there. So when you're running it, so it doesn't scratch the insides. Um, but other than that, it's now onto the resin body. And that's going to take me a little bit more to do. Um, but stay tuned.